All right, we're doing all right, Rob. It must be because there's so many media outlets here. Everybody trying to get a live signal out. Perhaps that's why it breaks up. Again, I mentioned we're in the spin room. The campaign's trying to tell us that there is, in fact, some news today. But obviously, everybody is focusing on what's going to happen tonight at 9 o'clock. You were talking a moment ago, Rob, about Mike Pence and Tim Kaine and whether people know them or not. Apparently, they perceive that one moment, the, the Hillary Clinton's campaign has a little bit of momentum. It might be Mike Pence's job tonight to try to break that momentum. But what is clear, as Longwood University has been transformed into Debate Central, you can walk outside and the security's there. There are shuttles from the parking lot. It's a kind of a well-oiled machine with hundreds and hundreds of media personnel here tonight, all building up for that big event tonight at 9 o'clock. Everybody's got an idea about what needs to happen tonight. I want to bring in my colleague, uh, Cameron Thompson, from our D.C. Bureau. And obviously both campaigns have pretty strong ideas about what's going to happen tonight. Absolutely. And uh, Rob and Julie were just talking about this, those poll numbers, about how many people don't actually know much about either Indiana Governor Mike Pence or Virginia Senator Tim Kaine. So this is really their second chance to reintroduce themselves to the country, last time really when they were picked as those vice presidential candidates. Since then, their running mates, Donald Trump and Hillary Clinton, have really dominated the news cycles. We spoke with CBS Face the Nation moderator John Dickerson early, earlier about his take on what else is supposed to be happening tonight. Really, it's taking on the role of the attack dog for Pence. It's going after Clinton for her use of a private email uh, server, while for Kane, it's going after Trump for his recent comments on women and for the New York Times article on his tax filing. His biggest role is what he did when Hillary Clinton announced that he was going to be on the ticket, which is he can witness for her. He can testify to Hillary Clinton, talk about her in a way that people don't really think of Hillary Clinton. She's become, she's so well known over 30 years. If he talks about her in human terms, if he fills her out as a human being, that's something that voters don't much hear about Hillary Clinton. And another point raised by Dickerson is barring a poor showing by Kane or a really good showing by Pence is that this should be sort of the last you see of the Clinton campaign in Virginia as they think they have this state locked up. But if they are still here after 10 days from today, then you know something might be wrong. Indeed. In fact, we've, we've long considered Virginia a battleground state, but apparently the Clinton campaign is feeling very confident. Recent polls have them up. A couple of polls showing a little bit tighter here in Virginia, but as you heard Cameron just say, that the Clinton campaign believes they don't necessarily need to do much more campaigning here. We'll have another report coming up at the top of the hour for now. I'm Bill Fitzgerald at campaign headquarters, at least for the night. Back to you guys in the studio.